Mother's Day is fast approaching, and if your mom is anything like mine, then she loves a good cocktail. So if you're celebrating with a small group or with your entire family, we're here to help. Today we're gonna show you how to make a sparkling sangria, as well as a DIY Bellini bar. So let's get started. First up is my signature cocktail, the sparkling sangria. So we are gonna use two ounces of the red sangria mixer. And make sure you measure that out so you get the right flavor. We're gonna just put this into a pretty little wine glass today for mom. And then next you're gonna to wanna to do about four ounces of the champagne. So instead of measuring it, because it can be a little bubbly, we're just gonna pour it in, kind of eyeball it there, to get to about the four ounces. And that feels about right. Today I'm gonna to garnish it with some fresh fruit. I think this star fruit is perfect for mom. And then maybe a couple of berries in there as a little incentive to keep drinking. So that is your sparkling sangria. Next up, we're gonna do our own Bellini bar from home. So get your champagne glasses out because this is gonna be a fun one with a lot of variety. The first one we're gonna make is going to be with the mango simple syrup. So this is going to be the bright, fruity, forward-looking drink, nice and orange, definitely one of my favorites. And you're gonna do half an ounce of that and top it off with the champagne. Anything mango is definitely mine. So hands off, you'll have to try one of the other ones. And then half an ounce of the strawberry. We'll make a bright red one right up here. It's gonna look really cute on your counter for Mother's Day or really any celebration. Top it off with the champagne. I think people like variety. So it's good to have kind of one of each here and it's such a simple recipe. I mean, half an ounce of this, we're doing peach now. That one's gonna be probably pretty similar in color to the mango, but obviously the taste is gonna be really different. So topping off with champagne, the best drink of all time. And then finishing off with some raspberry. And I think this one might be the darkest, but it's really up to you on what you wanna try, and I think your family and friends will appreciate anything you do from home, and this makes it really easy to do it. Top off with some champagne, and then for some bonus, definitely add some fresh fruit, just like into the glasses there. Throwing in some raspberries, maybe a blackberry, and then skewer some fresh fruit too and put it just for the garnish. Make it extra special. I like to have these kind of waiting when people arrive. It really sets the tone that you are the best hostess. So if you really wanna go all out, put the fruit on the skewers, add it to the drink, maybe add something special just for mom's drink because you already know which one's her favorite. Thanks so much for watching and comment below on which syrups you'll be using to create your own Bellini bar. And have a great Mother's Day.